Camera, microphone, detector, relay, name, and PTZ configuration setup. Changing the name of a camera, microphone, detector, or relay is performed from the same setup screen. We will change the current names of the following devices on a collective force and configure the first camera as a Vicon Surveyor PTZ camera dome. After launching the application, log into your system. Enter the main setup screen by pressing the setup button at the top of the screen. Select the unit you want to set up, where the camera resides, and press the select button. Then press the camera, microphone, detector, relay, speaker button on the system settings screen to enter the device settings. Note, speakers are not yet integrated into the Vikinet system and this function is currently disabled. Select the camera from the video column to view the current configuration. Note, the system default has all the devices, cameras, microphones, detectors, and relays named respectively along with the device number. To change the camera name, simply enter the name you want in the name location at the bottom of the screen. Selecting a different device or pressing the OK button saves the changes. Once the change is made, all the site lists are updated automatically. Select the microphone from the audio column to view the current configuration. To change the microphone name, simply enter the name you want in the name location. Select the detector from the detector column to view the current configuration. To change the detector name, simply enter the name you want in the name location. Select the relay from the relay column to view the current configuration. To change the relay name, simply enter the name you want in the name location. To configure a camera as a PTZ camera, select the camera from the video column to view the current configuration. Note, the camera being configured as a PTZ must not be used for viewing during this process. On the bottom right of the screen is the PTZ driver and communication configuration. Select the type of protocol the camera supports from the PTZ driver list. Enter the COM port number and camera address accordingly. Select the baud rate the camera works with from the list. Note, make sure that you have entered the correct information before saving the configuration. If the configuration is wrong, PTZ communication will not be enabled and the camera will not move. After all selections are made, press the OK button at the bottom of the screen to save your new configuration. Refer to the PTZ Basics clip on how to control the PTZ camera from the Vikinet system.